and welcome back this is the paracord weaver and today we're going to talk about fids and how to make some um, this is going to be part of the quick and easy series where we're going to uh, show you how to make two different types of fids that are very simple to do that i believe anybody can do and this video came about because of canuck bear and pk spence um, canuck bear asked me to make a video on how to make fids and pk spence told me that he makes his fids using these Hillman post studs like this and they come with a screw on the bottom so they already have the threads in them and we just have to put a tip on it. So I also just saw a video today from Mr. Coop uh, who also uses this same um, Hillman type post. It's a post screw and uh, he has a great video over there and I'll put a link to that video below. Um, he also um, recommends two other sites that are making fids. Um, I haven't been there uh, to actually see their techniques on it, um, but I'm going to put those links also in the description so you can go see their videos on how to do fids as well. So uh, we're going to talk about the Hillman post screw first. And again, it comes like this. And we just undo the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this tip off right here, the shoulder. And it's going to look like this when we're done, after we cut that shoulder off. So it's just blunt. And again, it has the threads in the back, so we don't have to worry about drilling and tapping or any other things with getting our paracord to stay in the back. We just need to shape this tip. And I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to do that. Um, what I do is I wrap it in uh, electrical tape and I start about a quarter of an inch back and I do that to protect the surface of this fid because what I'm going to do is put this in a drill and let me show you that real quick. So now it's like that and now what we've done is protect the surface of that fid so that we don't scar it up and have to fix that later. And then what I do is I have a diamond file that you would use for tile which is a, uh, works really well for this and you would just run it like this and you just go back and forth. until you get the tip on it that you want. It's very simple, easy to do. Um, these are tools that most people have in their house, so uh, that's why we're gonna make it the quick and easy part. Um, and the next fid we're gonna talk about is actually a knitting needle. And these are uh, by Boy. They're called Needle Master Interchangeable Knitting System. And these are the replacement parts. Um, if you're just starting to make these, I recommend that you get the number eights. They're about 200 thousandths thick. They're a little bit thicker. And the reason I use these is because this is part of a replacement interchangeable system and it already has a hole centered in the center right there. And it's already drilled. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill that a little bit larger so that we can get a number eight screw in. And we're not going to use a tap, we're going to use just a regular sheet metal screw. These are easy, they're not you know, expensive, they're real, they're real inexpensive, they're easy to use. If you have a tap, that's good, but it requires you know, other tools and more expense. Again, this is easy, and that's the, uh, the object of this uh, video, is to make it so that anybody can do it. On these knitting needles, you don't have to put a tip on it. All you're going to do is go, you're going to start with the smallest drill bit you can get in the hole, and you're going to continue to go up until you have the correct size for a number eight screw. And then you're going to put this in a vise. And what I use is I have these, they're called vise clamp protectors, and they just go over the 
inside of your vise there to keep uh, the, the, uh, the item inside the vise from getting scarred up from the teeth. And you're going to put it in there and then you're just going to screw this down into it and that will give you the threads that you want inside of here. So these fids are hollow from the end to here. So when you drill, you're going to want to drill down about a quarter of an inch, a little bit further. And again, you want to step drill that. You want to take the smallest size and then go up the next drill bit size until you have the size that you need for the number eight screw. And then you will end up with a fid that looks like this. This one happens to be a number six because I like my fids a little bit smaller. Uh, number six is probably the smallest you can do and still get your paracord inside. So this is the paracord weaver. We just wanted to do a quick video um, to answer uh, Canuck Bear and to um, also take care of PK Spence um, and his request. And I wanted to make sure that uh, we recognize the other people out there that are making FIDs and how they make them. And also, uh, thanks Mr. Coop for um, putting that video up earlier today. And um, we'll see you next time.